Hey folks, Nathan here. So have you ever been editing a project and have a song that's perfect for your edit, but the timing right at the end just doesn't work? Well today, I'm gonna show you how to end a song pretty much anywhere and make it work perfectly for your edit in the free version of DaVinci Resolve. Anyway, let's get into it. So here we are in DaVinci Resolve 16. I'm just gonna toss my headphones on so we can listen through this section. I mean, if someone didn't take a chance on me, then I don't even know what I'd be doing right now, but I don't think I'd be very happy. Okay, and it just keeps going and going and going. <laughs> Maybe it goes a little too long. Now we wanna end that somewhere, and I think right where we cut to black after the bridge shot is a good spot to end it. So we're gonna drag our audio over there and let's see how it sounds when we end it right there. It kind of feels like an ending, but it's pretty abrupt. So here's an option, let's try adding a fade. We're just gonna drag this over and fade it out and let's see how this works. Personally, I'm not a big fan of that. I want it to feel like it's actually the end of the song. So here's what we do. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna click on the track, I'm gonna hold in Alt and then drag it down to duplicate it. Drag it down right beneath it. And we're gonna go to this last beat here and you can see it on the peak on your waveform and it's kind of like a snare and a kick at the same time. So we're gonna cut to that point on our clip that we just duplicated. I'm gonna hit Control backslash on my keyboard to make a cut and then just delete the rest of it. So now we have this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna right click and create a new compound clip. You can name it whatever you want and then press create. Now what we can do is we can right click on our compound clip and click open in timeline. And you can see we're now inside that clip and if we ever wanna get back, we can just double click here and we can get back to our timeline. We can also go up to this doodad, click this over here and now we can have multiple timelines open. So if we right click, open in timeline, we can now switch between the two up here, which is super handy. So now what we're gonna do is inside the compound clip, we're going to duplicate this again, again, I'll drag, drag it down, and we're gonna drag this bottom part way out. And you'll see why in a second. And then we're gonna mute it, okay? Now we're gonna go back over to our main clip. Now what this allows us to do is it allows us to actually drag out that clip a little bit. And the reason why we wanna do that is we're gonna add some reverb to the clip. And that reverb is gonna give it this big echoey thump that really gives it a nice feeling to the end of the song. So check this out. We're gonna go into our audio effects and go down to reverb and drag that onto our clip. Now going into the controls, we're gonna drag the reverb time up quite a bit. Use whatever works for you, but I find just crank that sucker. And then we wanna reduce the room size a bit. I find around 70 meters squared works Great, but again, it's whatever works well for you. Okay, great, let's just exit here and let's try it out and see how it sounds. So right off the bat, that's a massive improvement and I think we can do a few things to make it just a little bit tighter. We're gonna click on our clip here and then we're gonna go down to reverb. Now you can play with the controls in here, but I personally like to have this kind of graphical interface. For me, it just plays a little bit nicer. Now I'm noticing a lot of high end frequencies, so I wanna cut those out a little bit just to get rid of those. And I wanna get the low sounds as much as I can for this kind of kick drum. And I also wanna adjust my output settings and I'll show you what that does. So let's just drag this over here so we can kind of see what we're doing. And let's drag it all the way over to dry. Now, let's see what we got. So it totally got rid of our reverb. Now, if we go back to 100%, all the reverb you can want, and you just wanna find a spot that works well for you, so kind of a mix between the two. Let's try around like 75. For me, that's perfect, but you can always tweak it a little bit more and find the spot that works perfectly for you. So just to recap, here's what we started with. with that super abrupt ending, and here's what we're ending with. 
So anyway, folks, I hope that helps you out with audio editing and your projects and being able to really end a song pretty much wherever you want. So if you like this video, be sure to hit that button and get subscribed for lots more videos like this. I put out two Resolve tutorials a week every Monday and Thursday. And if you didn't like the video, well, you can always hit the dislike button too. And if you want to check out the video I was using as an example to maybe learn a little bit more about me, my company, and what I kind of actually do, check that out down in the description. Anyway, have yourself a good one. Okay, bye.